Hi, thanks for coming back. It's Matt here again with MyWebBro.com, and today I'm really excited to show you guys a experiment with Google project, and every once in a while I like to go in and have some fun. Um, we talk a lot about e-commerce, and we talk about search engine optimization, and pay-per-click, and web development, but once in a while I think it's cool just to talk about new technologies, and when I do that I love to talk about artificial intelligence. I think artificial intelligence is really reshaping um, the way computer technicians are interacting with their integrations. So <clears throat> in other words, a lot of these technologies I think are going to, they're going to benefit the technical fields in that they take a lot of the busy work out of our, out of our job but at the expense sometimes of two things. It could be at the expense of quality, and it could be at the expense of, of uncanniness. And uncanniness is interesting, but just that feeling that something's not quite right, um, artificial intelligence can suffer from that just a little bit, that a tint of that. So, um, experiments with Google, experiments.withgoogle.com, and you'll find this imaginary soundscape. So what is this? So, so the concept here, and here's the white paper here, the concept is that is that you have an image and that the image could be more immersive if it was uh, associated with an audio file, but how could you possibly associate an audio file with petabytes of imagery unless through the use of artificial intelligence? So um, Google Street View is really um, the main, I would say like the main um, product I think that this right now is interacting with because You've got petabytes and petabytes of data, imagery, and um, that imagery can be paired with audio to create a more immersive experience. Granted, it's not a real life experience um, that would require an audio feed from every single vantage point, right? And so what are we talking about? We're talking about this Google Streetcar, right? If you've ever seen this Google Streetcar, what it was doing was it was mapping every single view of every single street in the world. So you could go like this essentially, and you could drop a pin pretty much anywhere in the world. I mean, I'm sure there's a lot of places that, that they're not doing this. Uh, in fact, there are countries that have banned this technology. So, but, but the ability to drop that pin comes from driving this car around this car also has audio capability, and some of that end audio ends up in a database of about 15,000 audio files. It's open source database that developers can use to, um, to develop these kinds of technologies. So there's the white paper, and then um, here's some information about CNN. CNN is co convolutional neural networks. Convolutional neural networks are the artificial intelligence um, um, protocols that make these kinds of things possible. You enter sometimes hundreds or, or hundreds of thousands or millions of data sets and the computer um, will learn um, how to separate patterns and, and then you will um, essentially funnel some of those decisions into a bin where that bin is, is containing things that are very close to what a human would have done. Um, my God, that was a mess. But here, let's look really quick at the actual website, okay? Because it's so awesome. Um, right here you'll find, you can launch the experiment, and then let's go straight to Browsing Street View and listen. Okay. So the artificial intelligence decided that this audio file works with this music. Let's check a few random ones and then I'll jump into a, um, a few well-known ones. Quite a city I've ever sat stood in. Very interesting. Something about the something about the the profile of this image is grabbing an audio file that has the profile of that audio file and combining them to create this more immersive experience. You have to admit it is more immersive. It's very interesting to me. Cool. 
let's see if here let's see if we can get one more cool random one and then uh and then I'll jump over to some yeah that's more like it right that's more like it right all right let's refresh this it looks like I've I might have jammed it up a little I want to show you a couple cool things here let's look at um let's look at Carnegie Hall you know some places that we may have been in before and see what we think Now I think it's interesting, the internet's a crazy place, we all have the ability to upload these photographs. In fact, let me very quickly show you, historypin.org is a company that enables um, on your mobile device that you can upload images and audio to the Google Street View, very cool. And so you can learn more about them at historypin.org. Oh, it's kind of cool. I gotta say. Here, let's see what happens when we go to St. Patrick's Cathedral here. Let's do that. I just checked some of these out before I made the video just, just to see. It's kind of cool. That's kind of cool. I mean, we can, we can conceptualize the connection. Can you imagine the complexity of having a computer make that decision? Oh my goodness gracious. I just want to hit a couple more cool places here that I think are cool. Let's plop ourselves straight down into the middle of the Harvard University campus and listen to the sounds of college. Those aren't the sounds of college, I got news for you. It's cool though, it's, this stuff's so cool. Here, let's take a look at uh, something um, a little more beautiful. Let's see what, it, what they do if I go to Maui, Hawaii to Hannah, to a beach in Hannah. Impressive. I can see how it, I can, I can understand how it may have determined this was a beach, but it's not your typical beach. It's not a white sand beach. I guess they know, it's just incredible to me. It's just incredible. Let's just do, let's just do two more maybe. Let's just do, let's fly over to Times Square, New York, New York. The city's so nice, they named it twice. And so interesting, you want to upload photographs to the internet, you are kissing your privacy goodbye, people. These people also kiss their privacy goodbye. So interesting to me that we live in a society where you can put an image on the internet and this guy has no say in it. You know what I mean? I apologize to you, guy. I'm part, I'm part of the problem, aren't I? So here, let's do one more. Let's just do one more, you guys, and just see what happens if we go into a, uh, let's go into like a sports arena. Let's see. Kind of cool. Kind of cool, you guys. I like it. So thank you so much for coming back and checking out this project with me. The uh, Experiments with Google Imaginary Soundscape Experiment. You can go, you can launch that experiment. You can even get the code and play with it if you want. And, uh, and uh, I really appreciate you coming back. Please, if you get a chance, if you could subscribe to my YouTube channel, I really appreciate it. Check me out on Facebook. It's my web bro. You can find me at daswow.com. I'm mad at daswow.com. And uh, you can also purchase our products and services at trafficisourjam.com. So thank you so much for coming back. Have a great day. Bye-bye.